marriage consists of entrusting your deepest self into the loving care of another. It is a public and legal act, as well as a spiritual and emotional commitment. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry and at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of the duty or sacrifice, but in the joy of the spirit. not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which one can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search of the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It's not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It's discovering what marriage can be at its best. I can't believe this day is finally here. I wake up and think about how fortunate I am to be with someone who loves me so much. Little things like always getting me water in bed or tucking me in when I go to bed at 7.30. You do the little things for me every day and it makes my love for you grow. You're my best friend and my favorite person. Like the lyrics from one of my favorite songs says, the best of me has her arms around you. You bring out the best in me. Today I am excited to be your wife. Like the poem we just heard, a good marriage must be created. I vow to be your partner and participate to create this marriage. Life has its ups and downs, but I'm ready to tackle it with you. Hand in hand, I'm lucky today because I get to say that my husband is someone I respect, admire, and adore. I love you with all my heart, Matt. Jacqueline, I'm about to do my best to always make you laugh. Whether it be my improper English is, is or sometimes silly behavior, I promise to always try my best to put a smile on your face. I vow to always support you in wherever life takes us. Instead of questioning you about why you are doing something, I will ask how can I help. You have always done this for me, and I have and will always greatly appreciate the help you have given me. Every now and again, we will have our disagreements, but I vow to never go to bed angry with you. There's no disagreement we can't work through, plus we both know how much I need my beauty sleep. I know my job can be a little concerning to you at times, but I vow to listen to you and try to understand those concerns. I vow to always be transparent 
keep an open line of communication. I know there are many nights of the week where we might not be together because of work, but I promise to always keep you in my thoughts and my heart. I vow to be the husband you deserve. Whether it's working an extra shift to support our future family or being there when times are tough, I promise that you will never have to go through those times alone. Lastly, Jacqueline, I love you. I vow to always love you. You make loving you very easy. I vow to give you the best possible life I can because you deserve it, and I know you would do the same for me. With this ring, I do wed. I gladly join my life to yours. And I'm honored to call you my husband. I'm honored to call you my wife. May the pledges made today strengthen and guide you. Know that you are loved and forever united. It is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. to uh, share the same bed last night in case you all don't know that. And as he gazed awkwardly into my eyes last night, he told me, Steve, I'm really excited to marry Jacqueline tomorrow. To two genuine people, may joys be many and sorrows few. I love you both to Matt and Jacqueline. different in every way. There is only a handful of things she and I do agree on. Our obsession with our pups, our desire to help people, and that Jacqueline could not have found a better love than what she has with Matt.